What's up guys, Autobahn Dan here, and why am I talking this way? Because Lone Star Mopars is an awesome channel I just found, and he's getting my uh, KC Toolbox unhauling fix going on right now because G German Tool Reviews, and he's another good uh, channel. He's on a little hiatus right now. I think he's uh, on a little break, having a little problems. Uh, I guess his wrist is hurting or something. So here uh, I am getting the unboxing kick here and uh, check out Lone Star Mopars. I'll put the link down below. I'll put uh, German Tool Reviews channel down below and uh, let's get to it. Welcome to the Autobahn. I'm gonna be like a kid at a candy store or at a ice cream truck. Oh, ice cream truck just drove by. Uh, I'm gonna use a Milwaukee Hard Line. Hard Line. Nice clip on it. Let's get on to it. So uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a small haul here. Got a couple things here. Let's see what's inside. Nice. Here we have the uh, KC Tool 3930 hat. Pretty cool. This is the uh, extra large. I've seen it, uh, there's a couple people where it doesn't look like too much of a flat bill. And maybe you can flatten it out a little bit, but I think when uh, once it's on your head, it's gonna stretch back down. But uh, for your flat bill lovers, this might not be the one, but uh, still a pretty cool hat. And here we have a t-shirt extra large <laughs> put a sticker inside awesome let me open it up for you guys here's what it looks like just uh, all black in the back pretty nice I think you can get this for over a $200 purchase don't quote me that but uh, it's uh, free shipping over 50 and then over 100 I think you get the sticker pack. Uh, I don't know if he's still doing those either So don't quote me on those too, but uh, awesome shirt definitely got to pick that up It's not that much and um, First off here tool wise We have the Hazette 2154 N2 It's a two meter measuring uh, tape here A little guy in the corner here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Has a uh, German writing here and uh, all the English writing here. Let's take a look at uh, what the tape part looks like. Pretty clear. So we got the metric below the inches on the top. Pretty strong spring on it. <laughs> Very quick. Got the locking feature. Pretty strong. Not bad. Does it have the rag underneath? No, it's all clear underneath. Kind of hard to grab right here. It's got a little recess right here. So you gotta really dig in there to grab it. And so far, first look at it, not bad. It's like a nice durable one. All right. Next here. I keep forgetting about the bit. Oh, thanks. Oh, gotta always do this one first. <laughs> Got number 16 of 24. 
I know uh, uh, Lone Star Mopar is getting a nice encyclopedia going on one of these. We have the uh, Weha 71568 T40. Nice, the T40s are hard to find in a bit. The T40 is a pretty big uh, fastener. Viha T40 here. And dinner is done. <laughs> um, so, yeah, check it out. Um, he, I think he's got it on a blog that he's uh, working on. So, 16 of 24. I have uh, all mine at work, so I'm gonna see. I've gotta do a tally of what I have. Maybe uh, send it over to the picture of it to him. Next up, we have a Stavilla ruler. It's got the uh, inch on one side and then the uh, metric on the other side, all the way up to a, a foot. It's an uh, opener up. It's part number. Steel rule. That's pretty thin. You gotta worry about not uh, bending it too much. But, uh, came in pretty straight. Nice. Stop the logo there. Or indication there with the part number. Get it closer up here. Very nice. And then the hole so you can hang it up. And the edges. A little blue tint there, but uh, looks like that's where the ink went into the edge. Not bad. Another close shot of the business end here. Very nice. And oh, of course, you get the uh, flyer every time. Got the uh, bottle opener. Oh, this is his new uh, uh, logo he got on the side of the the uh, building there. This is a little bit fastener keychain in there. The uh, the maker of the sign uh, made these. And I think it's for sale on the website. I guess. Gotta double check that. This is the round of screwdrivers. And the coasters. This guy's working on some kind of a boat with a tire on it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and here it is. A little surprise <laughs> and another bit oh thanks oh my gosh Colin thank you oh my gosh this is my last one here <laughs> I don't quite think I have all of them but uh, I'm pretty sure Colin keeps a database of uh, all the ones you get and make sure you get the a different one every time don't quote me on that but that I think I have not gotten a repeat yet so let's check this bit out T20, nice. And the uh, actual uh, keychain here from the, from the guy. I'll put the link down below who makes it. Um, the Instagram link will work. It's a machinist guy. I made these for him. That is awesome. <laughs> nice detail here. So you take this out. Little uh, rubber O ring holds it. And then uh, just the uh, hexagon part here in the middle of the KC uh, tool logo screws it in. <laughs> Pretty sweet. And then we have uh, it is a PH2 fellow. Sweet. This is an awesome keychain. Right on, Colin. That here. That over here. And what else do 
do I have? Of course. A bottle opener. <laughs> Sweet stall villa. Bottle opener. Nice chrome finish on that. And, uh, it keeps going. <laughs> now, uh, Lone Star Mopar is uh, just got a few of these in. He uh, tested out the Ghidorah and the. I think it's the Stavella one. And this is the Hazette cable stripping knife. And we're all waiting for the Knipex one. But I wanted to get this one mainly to compare. It's quite long. Here's the uh, part number here 2156 also on it. Yeah, 2156. Very lightweight handle, lightweight plastic. It's like mostly plastic. And the rivet here, and then the rip, the metal just must stand right there. Mostly encased in plastic. No logo on the handle. Rust free. Rust free. That must mean rust free. Pretty nice here. Let's uh. See how long this sucker is before I cut myself. Seven and a half inches. Yeah, roughly. Not a bad knife. And uh, let's see here. No detent, just nice and stiff. Pretty sweet. And then closed is, uh, sorry, it's getting dark here. Roughly four and a half. Not a bad knife. And uh, I believe that is it. That's another good haul. And um, definitely Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll get another haul coming soon. And yeah, thank you, Colin. <laughs> awesome. I only bought a few things, but this is awesome. Right on. All right, guys. Later. Check out the channels. I'll put them down below. And on to the next one.